quantum technology has the potential to transform nearly every industry across the globe, from healthcare and energy to cybersecurity and finance. And Canada has invested more than $1 billion to lead the world in quantum science and research. MITAX is turning this research into reality by connecting academic experts with industry leaders across the country. Let's meet the researchers, thought leaders and entrepreneurs behind this exciting new chapter in Canadian innovation. Bien, la définition de la quantique de façon générale, c'est la physique de l'extrêmement petit. C'est toutes les lois de la physique qui vont exprimer ou expliquer comment est-ce que les électrons vont interagir ensemble ou les atomes. Versus, par exemple, la physique moderne ou la physique newtonienne qui, elle, va expliquer tout ce qui se passe dans notre environnement. Donc, c'est la physique newtonienne qui envoie une fusée dans l'espace. C'est la physique quantique qui va peut-être régir justement les nouvelles technologies de demain, dont l'informatique quantique. Et les technologies quantiques, en fait, c'est une classe de technologies qui utilise euh, la mécanique quantique. Et la mécanique quantique, en fait, c'est euh, une théorie qui nous permet, en fait, de comprendre euh, ce qui se passe dans le monde autour de nous, et notamment euh, les matériaux et les particules de lumière, par exemple. Et tout ça à une échelle très, très, très petite, donc à l'échelle des atomes ou des électrons ou des choses comme ça. So we're looking at the, the next generation of quantum technologies and this is when um, we go for, further than just exploiting the quantized nature of atoms or quantized nature of uh, matter and instead start to look at the correlations between quantum systems. So we call this uh, uh, entanglement. Uh, so this is kind of the holy grail for quantum computing, but also for quantum sensing. We are working on quantum networks because uh, we are generating particles of light that have quantum properties. And then we generate basically quantum signals that we want to distribute onto the network. So that will increase, for example, the security of the classical networks that we are using every day but we'll be able to connect quantum computers together or quantum sensors and a lot of also different use cases that we are still looking for. There are many technologies that use quantum mechanics, like quantum communications, quantum meteorology, quantum sensing, and we do not think about these technologies to be applied just to communications or a computer, no. They can have applications in our life. For example, for, uh, uh, for health, for environment. Quantum technologies can allow us to uh, describe um, uh, and monitor uh, process which occurs in the health or in, 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 the, in the environment that otherwise cannot be explained and cannot be described. First and foremost, like artificial intelligence, Canada has tremendous academic expertise. I mean, some of the world's best quantum researchers are in Canada. The government's invested heavily in quantum technology through, you know, largely university research. And Canada also actually has companies based on quantum technology. Um, you know, D-Wave is the original one, and but there's one qubit, there's, you know, Xanadu, There's, there, we actually have companies in the quantum space. I, they're all small, but uh, we've, we've got both industrial expertise and, and the main advantage is the academic expertise. The real center in Quebec is, of course, in Sherbrooke, which is unusual. I mean, Sherbrooke's not a large city. The university is not that large. But decades ago, frankly, uh, the physics department in Sherbrooke decided to specialize in quantum materials, which is an aspect of quantum technology. Uh, from there, they built up expertise in quantum computing, quantum communications, and so they are, I would qualify them as small but mighty. I mean, they have, they have an outsized influence on quantum technology in Canada, quantum expertise, in spite of being a small city and a small university. These startups, these small companies, uh, support themselves, themselves by selling their own, their own devices. So sometimes they don't have the fund necessary to pay a two year of scholarship or fellowship. MITAX is crucial for this because MITAX allows small companies to fund projects and to uh, fund fellowship as the mine. 
So I think that uh, doing uh, such a research without uh, a funding program like MyTax would be impossible. Would be impossible. Par exemple, une startup ne pourrait pas s'offrir euh, un ingénieur euh, compétitif avec euh, ce que Google pourrait offrir. Mais en restant dans le domaine académique, donc ils ont euh, la sécurité, on va dire, de, de, de l'emploi, euh, de toujours faire de la recherche dans un domaine, on va dire, assez stable. Et l'entreprise qui est là aussi pour collaborer avec, la, avec les, les partenaires académiques euh, pour pouvoir pousser la direction de la recherche sur des domaines un peu plus applicatifs. Mitax nous permet d'entrer en contact avec des professeurs, euh, du talent, des, des étudiants gradués, euh, qu'on n'aurait pas accès d'autre façon et de regarder différemment les problèmes. Donc, je pense que c'est ça la, la grande valeur que Mitax apporte. On fait un rôle effectivement comme matchmaker. Donc, il y a expertise dans les universités et des collèges quand même. Et il y a des, des besoins de, de, des entreprises. Et particulièrement pour, pour les, les, les PME, les, les petits et moyens entreprises, il n'y a, a pas une connaissance d'expertise dans les universités. Donc, on a des, des spécialistes qui qui a en même temps la connaissance des, des expertises, des centres d'expertise ou, ou des experts aux universités. Et aussi, ils connaissent les besoins, les, les problèmes dans l'industrie. Et donc, il fait le jumelage entre le, le un partenariat, quoi, entre les chercheurs et les étudiants universitaires et l'entreprise. What problem are you sol solving and for who? This, I think Canada can make the, the biggest difference. So there's other countries which are mainly focused on pure research, but in the end, this is not what is going to make the most impact in society. So really focusing on what type of problem are you solving? Is it like for the mining sector? Is it for aerospace? What is their problem set and what value are you creating? That kind of uh, bridging the gap between quantum and entrepreneurship and what difference you can make in the world. I think this is where lies an opportunity in Canada. Quantum technology is, is, uh, is more seen as a marathon than a, a fast race and we have to be all together to make this work, find some use cases that are like I was saying before and I think Canada is very well placed in, in this race. On veut se placer comme chef de file, le Canada et aussi le Québec, donc il faut agir en amont. Donc, même si la technologie n'est peut-être pas prête à 100 mais au moins, on va initier les compagnies, initier la relève à c'est quoi travailler en quantique, puis ça va être quoi le quantique de demain. Euh, 